What's up, I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time we're opening the Transformer Studio Series SS-102 Buzzworthy Bumblebee. This is the elusive version of the Optimus Prime, the one that seems to just get away from everyone and also not get away from everyone. So I've heard some good things, I've heard some bad things, I've heard some mixed things, and I guess most of it is just how it's released, because I think some people are trying to say it's bad just for the sake of... Like, they couldn't get it. I I'm not saying this is perfect, I'm not saying nobody has the reasons, but I I'm starting to notice that more people were leaning to that. But anyways, regardless how you feel about it, thank you to FC203 for sending this out. He also does host the TF Alerts Twitter page, so I will link those in the description wherever they are. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna open it. Plastic-free packaging, except tape and glue. And uh, yeah, you can see the Autobot symbol on the side. The back of the packaging, there's Optimus Prime. There he is, he looks cool. Let's go ahead and open it, starting from the bottom, because we can't really admire Optimus Prime while he's in there. By the way, this is not a review this is an opening video I want to make that clear because you know I haven't had this figure for too long I can't really say oh yeah I would totally recommend this guy I could be like oh he's cool but maybe he's not off camera maybe he's abusive or something I don't know you don't know the point is we don't know I also don't like the fact that they put this at the front of the box but I guess because this is the background behind it they don't want to strap that on there. Uh, there's the gun, and there's the very Prime-esque sword. So we've got that. Anyways, let's go ahead and take him out of the cardboard insert. And pop this guy out. Come on. There we go. And... Come on. And, 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 there we go. And, there we go. And, there we go. And, there is Optimus Prime. Whatever I did just there... That seemed a little annoying, but uh, there's the background scene, by the way, where he was supposed to crush into Scourge, and that didn't happen in the movie, and I'm very disappointed by that, but I'm not disappointed by the look of this Optimus Prime. I like how tall he is. He looks very stoic, so I, I don't mind that. The waist can rotate, which is good. The head can pose, which is good. A little dusty in the in the boobal region, but otherwise, not too bad. Double joints for the elbows, so that's good. Wrist rotation, so that's nice. Uh, let's see, the legs have these little panels that can move out of the way. I kind of like how they situate this hip joint. Uh, it's, it's just an interesting mechanic that they've invented just for this Optimus Prime. And there's a foot tilt, uh, the knee, you know, it has joints. I, I would assume it have joints, so that's good. Yes, the shoulders are weird, not as weird as I thought they were going to be in hand, but they're, they're still weird. Anyways, you could take the sword and do multiple things with that. Some people will plug it onto the side like that, which is fine. Some people will have them hold it into the hand. But I think the preference is definitely plugging it into the front of the arm so you could drag it around in the movie. What was him and... We're sorry. What was with him and dragging it around on the ground so often? Anyways, I believe you can open this side up and stuff the hand in. I, I think this is, yeah, that's supposed to come out further. Close that up, and he's got his little gun blaster thing, which you can plug on either arm. And some people don't like it. Some people think it should be bigger. I'm actually glad it's small, because the way the film had it, it just looked way too big. And there he is with the backdrop, so yes. Let's go ahead and see about transforming him, because I want to turn him into a truck. Okay, let's go ahead and pop that in and slide that up and do that. Uh, this is supposed to rotate around. I've seen the transformation so many times, so I kind of feel like I could probably get this, but I will probably just pull out the instructions anyways. I think, yeah, that's supposed to come down. And then, let's see, this can... This is supposed to come up, like so. And... Uh, let's see, these arms are supposed to fold back. Uh, this is supposed to rotate in like that. And... Uh, da, 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 da. Again, trying this without instructions is kind of tricky, ain't it? Ain't it? Alright, let's see. So that will fold. Will it fold the other way or this way? Which way? Which way do you do? I'm gonna pull out the instructions. I failed you all! I'm so sorry. Oh yeah, you can store the weapons on the back. I forgot all about that. Oh. 
And that was the most important thing. That's what you guys all came to watch, isn't it? Oh, the first thing was the head. <laughs> Oops. Uh, let's see. So this should be on a joint, on a double joint? I don't know. It's not really opening too well. Did I already mess this up? I don't know, this isn't come down now. All right, so I think I got it, and the problem was this joint was just way too tight as well as the windows, so I, I couldn't get them to open properly, but now I can, and now we can transform it into a, a truck thing. Uh, let's see, I, I had assumed that these, I'm gonna try again without the instructions, okay? Nee, 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 okay? I'm probably gonna fail, but hey, without failure, uh, where will we be in society, you know? That's what you gotta ask yourself. Alright, so this is supposed to clip on top of here, like so, I imagine. I, I, I think it's supposed to clip more inside that, but it's just... There we go! Aha! I, I told you I would get it! You just need to give me patience and love and money and revenue and, and stuff, you know? Oh, the gun! Should probably pop that off. That would have been a smart idea. Nobody claimed I'm smart. Just ask my haters. They know it best. All right, so that folds into there. And do, 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 come on, why is that not coming up? Oh, because there's a little snag right there. And that should clip into place. Kinda like so. Uh, there we go. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, ha ha. All right. Anyways, uh, we've got these gray bits that will fold in on itself to cover the middle of the truck, and then we've got these panels right here that will clean up the truck. Very nice. Very nice. And then this should be able to collapse in and over top of everything, but you need the wheels out, which are on hinges. And they just come out like so. This should come up like that and plug into place like something that would initially plug into a spot that is fit for it to plug in like that. And let's see, what else do we have to do? I believe we rotate the feet this way and this all should come up somehow. I, I believe it should. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay, so we got that, and then this, I believe, comes up into there, like so. Do the same thing to the other side. Come on. There we go. Unclip that, unclip that. There we go. That should rotate in. The sword will go up the poop hole, uh, like on this side, I think. It looks like you can plug it on either side, so if you want the blade facing down, you can do that. And then the feet should... That sounded like something broke. I do not like that sound. I'm not seeing anything that broke. Maybe something just had flash plastic and it just snapped, because... Nothing broke, but you did hear that snapping sound. There's no cracks in the hinge, no nothing. I'm not even seeing a hairline fracture. That was just kind of weird. This one just moved on its own. So I do not like that sound, but nothing seems loose on that, so... I don't know, that was weird and I don't like it. That's gonna give me paranoia for the next few days. And then this should tab into the thigh, as well as above the leg to create that very iconic thigh that just sits there. And it doesn't really tab in too well. But we fold that side in. And plug that on top as well, and we push that inside. All right, so I got most of that done. It was just really tricky because the tabs didn't want to line up. Anyways, next up, what you want to do is clip these into place and open these up. And that's pretty much the majority of the truck mode done. The last thing you need to do is there is a tab that will plug right into there like so. And there you have Optimus Prime in his 
Very messy truck mode. The back is not that pleasant to look at, I'll be honest, but the front of it looks pretty good. I like the red, I like the silver stripe that goes above there. I like the bull bar at the front. Yeah, not too bad. Not, not amazing, not elegant, but then the front is not too bad. I could see this pinned against, you know, Scourge. I almost said Primal, that wouldn't make sense. Uh, but uh, yeah, without the way, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all this fun. Do this. Thank you, TFC, or no, sorry, FC203. That's the name. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.